Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN! Jack Frost! What's up, party people? I so! Yeah! So, apparently... New York City is in such a state of of unrest due to the coronavirus that they've decided the city of New York and, and I'm going to also assume that the state government had to have something to do with this also. This is a great idea by the way. I'm I'm on board with this. But what they have decided to do was to open Central Park up for the patients in the hospitals that you know throughout new york city mount sinai hospitals specifically i believe that are spilling out because there's not enough room in the hospitals i seen somebody the other day try to come into our chat i have a a show called morning coffee for everybody that don't know that if, if you only come check out the 10 minute videos so i have a show called morning coffee and on that show it's uh, uh we live stream somebody in the comments was busy trying to say that these hospitals are not full that that these this is all cap or whatever that, that they were talking about but now we have a situation where the hospitals are so full they are saying that they're spilling out and they need to literally take the people out of the hospital to ship them to central park where they're going to put them in tents so i get it i get a lot of the people that i i mean i try to talk when I discuss this specific matter with a little bit of levity, because I don't want us to think doom. But at this point, when the situation is what it is, and the city has decided that they're gonna allow the Mount Sinai, I don't know what branch of it is that deals with doing these type of things, but allow for them to take the Central Park since you uh, we do we do all understand how uh how much of a landmark Central park is right so so this isn't like we're just putting somebody in any old park just so we could be clear on how big of a deal this is we're not talking about putting them not even in prospect park we're talking about central park all right anyway point being is um I believe they said they're going to be 68 beds that they're going to be there, uh, that they're going to have. They're going to get something like 72 doctors. Um, uh, another thing, they have, there are a lot of hospitals in New York City uh, where there's people training to be doctors. So we really shouldn't ever run short of doctors in an emergency in New York City. I'm just going to throw that out there because um, just putting shit into the universe because last week on Morning Coffee, we talked about setting up tents in parks about maybe Thursday, Friday of the week prior to the week that they did it. They did it on the, the it, it got announced on a Tuesday. <laughs> so put that together. Anyway, um, let me know what y'all guys think about this. I'm not going to make this video long. Um, let me know what y'all guys think about this. There's also like controversies going on with the political people in, in, in positions wanting to make sure that everybody gets treated fairly, but, and, but they, um, point out uh, certain groups. I, I don't even want to get into that because that's at this point, we should be above that. We got something more important going on. So we should all be above that. But what I will say is I hope anybody on the face of the planet that is going into some type of medical care due to the coronavirus or any any anything at all even i don't really care if it's a scraped knee i hope the doctor that takes care of them or the medical assistant or whoever it is that takes care of them treats them with the best care and and and, and the care that they give them isn't dependent on any type of demographic that they may or may not belong to that's just what I'm hoping. So I don't even want to get into all of that political crap that other people want to get into.
anyway, let me know what y'all guys think. Leave it down in the comment section. Is this a win for New York or are they doing too much? Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?